Oh my god, guys, look at this. I got my hands on AMD's brand new killer budget gaming CPUs, the Ryzen 3 3100 and the Ryzen 3 3300X. And this video is going to blow your mind. Hey guys, this is Vimal here and welcome back to another video on my channel. So today's video is going to be absolutely lit guys because as I've told you just now, we've got our hands on AMD's brand new Ryzen 3 budget killer CPUs. These are really awesome gaming CPUs guys, they're actually like monsters on a budget and AMD has launched them like a couple of days ago and I'm probably the first person in India to get my hands on these CPUs. That is awesome, right? Uh, these are more like test samples, you know, review samples sent by AMD and that's why they didn't come in you, those traditional Ryzen box packaging. But when they do come out in the market, you will get them in the usual box packaging with the Ryzen and all that. And they'll also come with a bundled uh, very stealth cooler in them. So that was about these CPUs guys. So what I'll do quickly is, I'll just quickly unbox them, show you the CPUs, and then after that, we'll talk about all the special features and highlights and what makes them like really powerful for that price tag. So let's get started. So here are the new Ryzen 3 budget CPUs from AMD. We've got both the brand new models, the Ryzen 3100 on the right and the Ryzen 3 3300X on the left. And as I mentioned before, these are review samples that AMD has sent us. So I do not have the retail boxes of these products yet. But anyways, they're brand new sealed CPUs. And right now I'm gonna unbox them and give you all a closer look. So let's first start with the most affordable variant, the Ryzen 3 3100. Comes nicely packed in this tray. Let me grab my knife and cut this seal over here. And there we go, here is our brand new budget CPU from AMD, the Ryzen 3 3100. Holy smokes, that is a sweet looking CPU. It's a 4 core 8 thread CPU with a max boost clock frequency of 3.9 GHz and is based on a 7 nanometer Zen 2 architecture. Be a bit careful while handling these AMD CPUs as the CPUs have pins on the bottom side that can be very delicate so make sure you don't touch them as you might not want to damage your brand new processor. Well that was our look at the 3100. Now let's check out the second processor, the Ryzen 3 3300X. Even this comes in a similar packaging and both of them are 4 core 8 thread but this one has higher clocks with a max boost frequency going all the way up to 4.3 GHz. Beautiful looking CPU, right? People who are looking to build a brand new gaming PC, you all are quite lucky right now because you're getting a very good CPU at an affordable price. I have a lot of testings to do on these CPUs and comparisons as well. Like should you go for this brand new 3rd gen 3300X or the 2nd gen 2600X? Which one is better for the price? Which is future proof? And all that. So you'll have to wait and stay tuned to my channel guys because I have planned a lot of content in the upcoming days. So guys, we are finally done with the unboxing part, right? So now let me tell you first about the Ryzen 3 3100, which is a more budget friendly edition one. And then we'll talk about the Ryzen 3 3300X. Uh, as I've told you before, the Ryzen 3 3100 is a four core eight thread CPU with a base clock frequency of 3.6 gigahertz and a max boost clock frequency of 3.9 gigahertz. Both these CPUs come with AM4 socket support and are based on a seven nanometer process. So, uh, yes, and talking about the TDP, both of them have around 65 watt TDP. This Ryzen 3 3100 is priced for around like 8,500 rupees in India, guys. And for that price, I think it offers some really good benchmarks and results. AMD has provided uh, some benchmarks as well, but we'll have to do our own benchmarks and see how this thing stacks up in the market in today's uh, competition. So that was about 3100 and talking about the 3300X, this is also a 4 core 8 thread CPU. This is also based on 7 nanometer and supports AM4 socket. Uh, the base clock frequency on this one is around 3.8 gigahertz and the max boost clock frequency is around 4.3 gigahertz. So you might think, you might think is the only difference between these CPUs the clock frequencies. 
but no that is not the difference guys the entire way they are manufactured is different see guys i'll try to explain this as simple as possible amd zen 2 architecture features two chiplets on the inside you can also call these chiplets as ccds and on the ryzen 3 3100 it's got a 2 plus 2 configuration that means in both these chiplets it's got two active cores present and that is how it's got four core eight threads divided but if you come to the ryzen 3 3300x all the four cores are present on the same chiplet. It's got a 4 plus 0 configuration. So that greatly improves the performance on it. So what happens is when all the four cores are present on the same chiplet instead of having a 2 plus 2 configuration like the 3100, uh, you'll get less core to core latency and also since all the 16 MB catch of the CPU is divided among all the four cores in the same chiplet, you'll see a great performance advantage. So that is the main difference between 3100 and 3300X. And also in, uh, AMD has shared us some benchmarks with all the reviewers and testers. They say that the 3300X beats the Intel's i7-7700K in almost all the benchmarks. Well, we'll have to see about that. I'll have to do my own testings and benchmarks. And also they say that the 3300X is almost 20% faster than Intel's 9th gen i5-9400F. Well, those really sound really awesome because that is only 11,000 rupees CPU guys, the 3300X. Whereas what we are talking about the Intel CPUs, they're quite expensive. So you're getting great performance results on such a budget category CPU. So guys, I'm like super excited to test out these new CPUs. I'll be doing a lot of videos in the coming days using these two CPUs. We'll be doing a lot of gaming benchmarks. We'll also do a lot of budget PC builds. So let me know what you want to actually see with these CPUs. Do you want me to uh, test and show you the 3100 first or the 3300X? Wait, have I told you about the prices of these CPUs? The 3100 will cost you around 8600 only in India and the 3300X will be available for around 11,100 rupees I guess. Uh, I'll leave links in the description box below. So yeah, I have planned a lot of budget category gaming PC builds with them. I'll be doing like a 30k gaming PC build, a 40k gaming PC build, as well as a new 50k gaming PC build. So which one do you want to see first? Let me know in the comment section down below. And also, do you want me to couple them with any uh, particular GPUs? Do let me know in the comment section down below. Well, that is pretty much it guys. That was our first look and uh, talk about all the features and highlights about these new Ryzen CPUs. I hope you all enjoyed and got to learn a lot about these new products. Uh, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more such awesome videos. And I'll see you guys in my next one.